This is the new MagiCycle Deer. It's a soft tail, full suspension e-bike. It's a SUV e-bike, according to MagiCycle. It's designed for uh, off-road, off mountain trails. It's a mountain bike. And uh, it's designed from the ground up with new frame, new suspension, everything on this bike, new braking system. It's new from MagiCycle. Yeah, this isn't a copy of the uh, MagiCycle Cruiser or the Cruiser Pro. This bike is all new and the frame is, uh, like I mentioned, is all new from the ground up, totally redesigned. Let's get a closer look. I'll show you the features of it. And after we do this, we'll get it out riding on the trails and you'll see exactly how it works. And I'll tell you exactly what it feels like. Well, right off the bat here, I can tell you it's the 52 volt MagiPower. Uh, system. It's got a 20 amp hour battery contained in the frame here. You can charge the battery in the frame or just use the key in this lever here and this battery pops right out so you can charge it indoors if you like. It's powering a 750 watt hub motor, 96 newton meters of torque, and it puts out up to 1100 watts. So this bike does have a lot of power. It's got Shimano gearing on it, which I like. I've never had any trouble with Shimano. This is a Shimano Altus. It's a 14 to 28 tooth here. And on the front, it's got a forged 48 tooth, 48 tooth uh, crank. And being forged means it's not going to uh, uh, wear out easily. It's not like just a cut steel crank. The forged cranks are much stronger. The pedals are metal, they're aluminum. They've got these nice nubs on them so your feet don't uh, slip off. They're made by Welgo. It's got four inch by 26 inch fat tires. These are Kendas and I've never had any trouble with Kenda tires either. These are good tires. The brakes are 180 millimeter discs, front and rear, hydraulic, of course. And they're Bengal Aries three hydraulic brakes. It's got the MagiCycle hydraulic front fork got the lock out here in case you want to lock the uh, suspension out. You can do that. Uh, you might want to do this for some forms of riding or you might want to do this when you got this strapped into a uh, bike rack to keep the uh, front suspension from bouncing. And on the other side over here you can adjust the uh, uh, tension on the front fork. It's got a uh, front headlight. No tail light on this model. It's got a reflector. It's got a really nice mount here for a front rack or a front basket. I prefer a front rack for various reasons. Uh, they're easier to strap uh, sleeping bags and, and tents to rather than the confines of a basket. It does have the protector here for the derailleur. And the system here is a shock. It's got a single shock mounted to the frame. And let's talk about the frame here for just a minute. MagiCycle carefully designed this frame. The welds are beautiful on it. And look back here, instead of just a single tube for the seat post, it's triangular in shape to make this stronger uh, for mounting the seat. Now the mountain bike version of this, of this, which this is, has the top bar, and that's for rigidity for riding trails and, and rough roads. They make a step-through model of this very same bike that does not have the top tube on it. The bike does come with fenders that you can put on if you like. Uh, I think it'll come with the rear fender mounted. And uh, it may come with a rear rack, although I'm not positive. It does say, I just looked at their uh, a website this morning, and it says it comes with a rear rack, and it's a very large rear rack. You can bet I'll be getting one of those. Like with all MagiCycles, it's got the uh, leather or leatherette grips here. They're very comfortable. I mentioned it's got the hydraulic brakes front and rear. This is the uh, switch over here to turn it on. We'll go ahead and turn the display on here. You can see it's coming right on. There's the um, uh, button here for uh, selecting more pedal power or less pedal power here or pedal assist. There's a bell. Over here is your Shimano shifter and uh, shift up and shift down. And it's got a half throttle. I prefer a half throttle over all others. It's, and the reason is, I've explained in other reviews I've done, you can dial in the throttle and then grip with the rest of your hand and hold it. If you're holding a thumb throttle, uh, for one thing on trails, your thumb is pushing it like this as you're bouncing. 
and also my thumb tends to get tired. But with the uh, uh, the half twist or half throttle, all you do is just turn in a little bit, grip with your hand, and you lock it in. It does have cruise control, and if you hold a certain speed for about seven or eight seconds, it holds that speed. And then to get out of cruise control, all you do is touch the brake, and it comes right out. Very nice feature. Um, you may not be able to see the display too well. I can see the display very clearly, but the sun is bright here. And uh, it shows your pedal assist level down here, and your trip odometer over here, and your battery state of charge, how many watts are you using at any given time, and um, of course your speedometer here. This bike is easy to change the parameters. It doesn't use the P codes like other bikes do. If I go in here, I'm, I'm pressing both buttons here, and it takes you into your uh, menu. I mm, hope you can see that. And you can scroll through the menu to different uh, things here, like the wheel size. You can adjust the speed limit up to 28 miles an hour, and it does do 28 miles an hour. Uh, you can adjust the brightness of the display. You can, if you happen to put in a different battery that happens to fit, uh, you can, and it's a different voltage, you can change it here. Uh, your advanced uh, selections are down here. How long the uh, bike stays on after you walk away from it. And um, over here is, uh, let's see here, let me get to the next page. Units, whether it be uh, metric or, or imperial. You can put a password in, so you have to put a, uh, enter a password to be able to uh, ride the bike. Factory reset here. The display brightness here and exit down here. But here's something I really like, and let me see if I can explain it to you. For each pedal assist level, like one, two, three, you can set how many, how much percentage uh, that it uses. Like it comes from the factory, if I set up at one through seven here, pedal assist level number one is set at 20%. Pedal assist level number two is set at 30%. But let's say that the trail that I'm on is really tricky and 20% or and 30% are too much, I can dial them down so they're much more gentle and the bike is easier to control on tight trails. So easy, and it only takes a couple seconds to do it. It's a really nice feature here and easy to do. Wanted to give you a closer look of the uh, suspension here. For one thing, this metal of this, of this lower part here, this metal is really thick. This is more than a quarter of an inch thick. And the pivot point down here is really wide. It's not small, it's a nice thick pivot. So that should last a long time. The bike comes in three colors. This is the space gray. It's kind of a, of a light metallic. It also comes in dawn yellow and neon green. The range on the battery is listed at 70 to 80 miles. And uh, talking with uh, other riders on other, on other Magicycle bikes, and including me, if you can get that top mileage, as depending on your weight, the heavier you are, the less mileage you're going to get. The more gear you've got on the bike, the less mileage you're going to get. But if you were like 160 or 170 pounds and uh, on fairly flat terrain, you would get that 80 miles. And the bike is capable of carrying 400 pounds total, total cargo weight, including you. Now, they didn't skimp on the quality of the battery either. It's lithium-ion battery, but it's the 21700 uh, cells. That's better than the 18.6s. So this is the high quality, dense lithium ion cells in this battery. And it comes with a short circuit proof, three amp fast charger. Now this is not a small bike. This is a big bike. And the recommended rider height is five foot eight to six foot eight. They do however make the Ocelot Pro, which will take riders as small as uh, four foot 10. And it's got the basically the same uh, hub motor on it. The Ocelot Pro is a very powerful bike and it makes a really decent trail bike also. Now this bike isn't lightweight with all that hardware on it. Uh, it does come in at a little over 92 pounds. Uh, you don't feel it when you're riding it. It's very lightweight for a motorcycle and, uh, and it may be heavier for an e-bike, but it's lightweight for a motorcycle. It does handle the trails real nice. Most e-bikes are between 75 and, and 92 pounds. 
And the, the only ones that are lighter are the real um, lightweight city bikes with small batteries in them. This has a large battery. The spokes are heavy duty. They're 13 gauge on the front and heavier 12 gauge on the back. I'm not gonna read off all the parameters, but the handlebar height is uh, 42 and a half inches. The maximum seat to ground height is 35.83 inches. And the minimum seat to ground height is 29.71 inches. The maximum seat to pedal length is 35.04 inches. So that'll give you an idea if this is a bike you can, that's, uh, you can ride or not. These are the things the Magic Cycle comes with. It has a three amp fast charger. Comes with a toolkit, comes with a set of gloves to keep your hands clean while you assemble the bike. Comes with an excellent manual, it's illustrated, unlike some other manuals. And it comes with a brochure here, and it, uh, it talks to you about the Magic Coins. Um, whenever you buy something from MagiCycle, they give you these Magic Coins, which are credits towards buying other accessories. You actually get quite a lot, and uh, they add up. And this is what's inside this toolkit. It's a complete set of Allen wrenches and uh, open end wrenches and a dual screwdriver Phillips and flat. Everything you need to put the bike together and to service it afterwards. That covers most of the details. Let's get this bike out and ride it. Well, riding on this road, it's a bumpy, well, bumpy for a bike, a uh, gravel road. <laughs> a lot of embedded rocks. It doesn't take the all the bumps out like if you've never ridden a soft tail like you might want it to, but it takes the violent ones out so that it does not launch you off of the seat of the bike. Okay, one thing I was curious about was the um, factory settings. I, I showed how you can go in and change the um, uh, percentage of assistance. And this being a mountain bike, they've already got it toned down on pedal assist levels one and two, which is something I usually do myself on, on my other MagiCycles. But this one is already there. So right here in pedal assist level number one, um, if I try going slow, it's very gentle. It doesn't uh, want to shoot out from under you just the way it comes from the factory. Now we'll try pedal assist level number two. We'll go a little faster, but once again, it's, a, it's gentle in how it comes on. The thing I really like about the MagiCycle program that they use with their controller is that even if you're in pedal assist level number one or two, or three or four, it doesn't matter. At any time, you can come in with throttle and go right to the top speed of the bike. In other words, you don't go to the top speed of your pedal assist level, you go to the top speed of the bike. And that's really handy if you're trying to outrun a dog or something like that, that gets on your tail. Uh, you've always got that right there handy for you. Boy, these fat tires are so nice in this loose gravel. Loose rock. This is a nice bike. It's handling really, really well. Boy, it just gets right up these little gullies. No problem. Well, we're just heading up this dry wash. Real soft gravel, soft sand. And uh, it's uh, no problem. I'm able just to keep my self sitting on the seat here without having to stand up or, you know, to, for cushioning. It's that soft tail is working very nicely.
land, this isn't the easiest going, but it's, uh, the bike is real maneuverable. It's not bad at all. Now there is a difference uh, between having 20 inch tires and having 26 inch tires when it comes to rolling over this stuff. The 26 inch tires are easier. By the way, when I showed you the display earlier, I still had the protective plastic on it. <laughs> so it wasn't, the screen wasn't exactly looking too nice, but uh, you can see how clear it is now. I've been looking for a good hill to ride the bike up, just to show you how well it goes uphill, and it does. It's got plenty of torque for that, but uh, I'm having a hard time finding a decent spot to ride uphill at. This hill is steep and rocky, but I don't think it's going to be a problem for this bike at all. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. I'm finding the bike with the handlebars at this level and this width, uh, the bike is real maneuverable. And for some reason, I'm able to stand up and pedal on this bike, which um, my knees normally don't uh, take that, but been doing all right. Well, I was out all afternoon riding this rough, gravelly terrain, and uh, I like the bike a lot. Um, you know, I've got the Cruiser Magicycle Cruiser, and I've got the Magicycle Ocelot Pro. They're both uh, really good on trails as well as around town. Uh, this bike uh, is a whole lot better in uh, handling and ride comfort. For mountain for rough mountain trails just for maneuverability it's got so much power for going up steep inclines so yeah I, I do like it this is a nice bike I think the bike is really stable I'm able to steer around even the little baseball sized chunks of rocks as I come up on them all of a sudden you know and get around them and and uh, really stable, that's pretty nice. Well, last impression is that Magicycle got this one right, but I knew they would. Um, they spent a lot of time on the engineering, redesigning the frame from the ground up, and uh, it, it's all the way it's supposed to be. But uh, if you're thinking about getting an e-bike, First, think about what you're going to use it for. And uh, like, if you're just strictly city commuting, then you're gonna to wanna to get a lightweight city commuting bike. If you're constantly um, traveling with your bike and taking it in and out of an RV or a van or something, you're gonna want a folding bike. If you want a bike that uh, can do uh, mountain riding, you know, trail riding and, uh, and do city riding both, then you're gonna want a cruiser, like the Magicycle Cruiser. It, it handles city and snow, <laughs> which uh, Montana I got to see. I got to ride that a lot in the snow. And uh, it also handles the trails and everything pretty good. Um, you have to think about your, your, what kind of riding you're going to do. You also have to think about your stature. How big are you? If, uh, if you're um, a full, you know, if you're full grown, <laughs> no, if you're tall, then you can ride a bike like this, you know, or like the Magicycle Cruiser. Those, those are pretty much for taller people, like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and up. If you're shorter, then you're gonna want something like their Ocelot Pro, which is a powerful bike, like I mentioned earlier, 
and it'll fit you all the way down to four foot ten. So if you're thinking about getting an e-bike, think about what kind of riding you're going to do and also how big are you? Because that's gonna make a big difference on what you choose. I give this bike a big thumbs up. I'm gonna get a rear rack for this one. I think that they come with a rear rack, but I didn't get one, but I, I will. And they also come with the fenders. So uh, for a mountain bike, this is a this is a really good bike, really maneuverable and uh, easy to ride. If you're wondering about the price, it's $26.99. They're currently offering $300 off. I'd appreciate it if you would use my discount code of gone again down below. It'll get you that same $300 off. Plus I make a commission on it. And also, even after their introductory price is gone, if you use that code, you'll still get the $300 off. Magicycle's a great product. I love this deer. I've even gotten more miles on it out here in the Sonoran Desert. I'm loving it. You'll love it too. Anyways, thanks you guys. Check out Magicycle Bikes. This is the Magicycle Deer. They did send it to me for review. They didn't pay me to do the review. They don't tell me what to say, and they never have. But this is a great bike. Check out the Deer.